I want to talk about some interesting stuff I saw in the news. Yet more people bitching and moaning about rich people. I swear, what is it with you people out there that have a problem with the rich? Why don't you just become rich then? Huh? How do you think rich people got rich? What do you think, they're richy rich and they're just born? <laughs> I was born rich and my name's Richie Rich. By the way, you weren't born rich. Your parents are rich and they just were dumb enough cunts to give you a lot of money. All right? But uh, no, they work for their money. They work for their fucking money. More than two-thirds of the wealth out there is not inherited. Of course, dumb socialists like to believe that it's the other way around, that two-thirds plus wealth is inherited because, you know, then they could uh, uh, continue to say that, oh, the wealthy are hoarding wealth, and it's not merit that makes money. It's just some greedy people hoarding it and passing it down to their kids, and that's why there's poor people. Of course, they don't seem to understand how wealth creation works, and uh, it's not a zero-sum game, you pinheads. Check out my video on this channel on uh, the fallacy of the zero-sum game to know what I'm talking about in that regard. So, yeah, you got Yahoo Finance bitching and moaning about Bill Gates, whose $127 million mansion has a trampoline room. That sounds pretty fucking cool, actually. I did have a trampoline growing up, but I would like to have jumped on one. Now, I had a neighbor that had a trampoline. Uh, I once eh, almost snuck onto their property to jump on it, but I think they would have heard me. It was like right in their backyard. But, uh, eh, I was, I, I was kind of afraid, though, I'd break my fucking back. <laughs> you hear all these stories about kids jumping on trampolines, and it's real dangerous. Like, all around the outside of the trampoline is, is metal bars, right? I mean, if you stray just a little off of the trampoline, you'll just land on one of these bars and break your fucking back. <laughs> And you hear these horror stories every year about these poor kids that break their backs and they're going to spend their whole life in a fucking wheelchair because they wanted to jump on a trampoline. Fuck that. But that's pretty cool. 60-foot indoor pool. Ah, shit. Does he look like he swims? I don't think that Bill Gates is a fat guy. Maybe he's a, uh, maybe he's a swimmer. Maybe that's how he keeps fit. With an underwater music system. Ah, how the hell does that work? You, I mean, I know you can hear shit underwater if somebody's talking outside and you're underwater, but it's kind of muffled. It's very odd and strange. So he's swimming underwater and he can hear music. Okay. That seems a little decadent, but what the fuck? It's his money. He can do what he wants with it, which really pisses off a lot of people out there who are just envious of him, right? So they want to take what he has, so he don't have it anymore, and they can have it. Of course, what ends up happening is nobody has underwater sound systems, <laughs> okay? Which is, of course, perfectly fair, right? That's not equal, says the socialist. He has a pool with an underwater sound system. I don't have a pool with an underwater sound system. Well, maybe if you invented an operating system that was used in pretty much every computer on the planet, minus the smart people who use Linux, <laughs> Maybe then you would have a pool with an underwater sound system, too. So the story starts by saying when you're as wealthy as Microsoft founder Bill Gates, his net worth is almost $100 billion. Oh, you got it back up there. At one point, it was like, like 58 or something because he gave away half his money to charity. What a fool. What, what a fool. What a maroon. Charity's a scam. Are you people out there aware that if you give your money to a charity, 90% of it goes to the charity to pay for overhead and employees? And, and operating, quote-unquote, costs, <laughs> like less than 10% of it actually goes to helping people. But anyway, you can afford some super rich guy extravagances in an Ask Me Anything session on Reddit on Monday. Reddit? What the fuck is Bill Gates doing on Reddit? Gates admitted that his biggest luxury was a private jet. Oh, oh global warming contributor there. Ooh which he previously told Ellen DeGeneres. You mean Ellis, Ellen DeGeneres was a huge indulgence? Eh, I don't know about that. Uh, uh, Donald Trump is a lot less wealthy than you, and he has his own jet. In the AMA, he added, it, the jet does help me do my foundation work, but again, it's a very privileged thing to have. <laughs> I love it. I love this shit, privileged. In my view, privilege is something unearned, Right? It's just something you automatically have. Do I automatically have a fucking jet? 
If I go outside, is there a jet waiting for me? Do I have a fucking helipad outside because I'm a white man? What privilege do you have, Bill Gates? You work for everything you fucking have. Ooh, 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 ooh. This makes me so angry when people like Bill Gates, even people like Bill Gates that are as smart as him, fool for this social justice warrior bullshit. Hey, Bill, you're not privileged. You used to be a middle class, borderline poor guy or uh, straight middle class. You, you weren't born with a silver spoon in your fucking mouth. You worked for everything you had. Stop saying you're privileged and stop apologizing for the things you worked for. You little pinhead, you. Aside from his jets, Gate lives comfortably in his $127 million complex. Good for him. Good for him. I like it when rich people spend money. You know why? Because they're contributing to the fucking economy. When they buy a $250,000 fucking car, they're paying a bunch of people who built that motherfucking car, who made the parts that went into that motherfucking car, the people who sold that fucking car to him. Essentially, they're paying a lot of fucking people and their salaries. Uh, so the 66,000 square foot house, okay, that's pretty big. I think growing up our fucking house was, what, 3,000 square feet? So whew, he's got a house that's 10, 20, 23 times bigger than ours. Good Lord. And we had a decent sized house. It was like three or 4,000 square feet. I, I don't remember exactly. Uh, is brimming with state-of-the-art technology? Uh, yeah, he's a tech guru. Well, I made an operating system. And a seven-bedroom. Seven, that's it? We had four. They must be really big bedrooms and 18 bathrooms. What? <laughs> Holy shit. I guess he's got a weak bladder. Fuck me. Who has seven bedrooms but 18 bathrooms? Have you ever heard of that? I've never heard of that. Excuse me. I mean, I know he's getting old and all that, and he might have a hard time. You know, he might be incontinent. But Jesus Christ. How do you have more bathrooms than bedrooms? Fuck. So in the AMA... Gates confessed that the enormous lakeside development also features a trampoline room. Eh? It's pretty cool. I wonder how often he uses it, though. Does this guy even have kids? Eh. Uh, the r trampoline room seems kind of over the top, but my kids love using it. Okay, he does. To work off their excess energy, the billionaire said. Oh, they have to identify him as a billionaire. Not a man, not Mr. Gates, but a billionaire. Yeah. So as a high-ceiling trampoline room, yeah, that would be kind of inconvenient, right? You're jumping on the trans trampoline and then you, 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 you wait, whap your fucking head on it and break your neck on the ceiling. Yeah, that would be bad. So <laughs> <laughs> and they made note of it being a high ceiling trampoline room. Good Lord. It's just very rare for me to read anything journalistic that is straight details and not some kind of opinion piece. Okay, so they're actually letting you know how high the ceilings were. The home is also equipped with an in-house theater, library. Okay. House was built with 500 year old, year old Douglas fir trees and 300 construction workers labor on the home, 100 of whom were electricians. <laughs> Fucking guy employs a lot of people. Billionaires are great. When they spend money, everybody else benefits. What the hell are you uh, socialists complaining about? Oh, that's right. You don't have jobs. <laughs> so you're not benefiting from their uh, uh, spending of money. I see. <gasps> oh, fuck. All right. I just wanted to talk about that because look at everything he contributes. Right? I mean, look at how scalable what he does is. Hundreds of millions, billions of people use his product. That's why he's so rich. He employs lots of people to create this product. These people who use his product use it to create, to innovate, to produce things that are useful and provide real value in our lives and contribute to the economy of whatever country system they're existing within. He's not some welfare schlub Kramer wannabe fuck who's complaining about how they're being impressed because they made bad decisions in their life. And mommy and daddy were fucking hippies who thought that they shouldn't have any hardship. Oh, let's have our child grow up with everything they could possibly want and never having to work for anything. Yeah, look at what that's pr produced here. Fucking generation of uh, invalids who are entitled cunts that think that everything should be handed to them on a silver fucking platter. And then they go to school and they study this bullshit gender studies crap. Yeah, big surprise you can't find a job. I could be like Bernie. Yeah, yeah, Bernie is a very rare case, okay? Most people that are as lazy and uh, uh, disillusioned and uh, deluded as Bernie uh, do not become Congress people, okay? <laughs> That's a very limited job opportunity, all right? Okay, let, let's move on. 